Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, I've got something super exciting for you. I'll be showing you how to run Android on your iPhone or iPad using UTMSE. Yes, you heard that right. Android on iOS. Let's dive right in. First of all, you need to download ISO file image for Android. Then you need to download and install UTMSE app from the App Store. After installing the UTMSE app, simply open the app and then hit plus sign. Then hit on the new machine and then hit on browse and then select your downloaded Android ISO image file. Then enable legacy mode and hit continue. Then give memory and CPU and hit continue and then give storage and hit continue again. Then hit save to save the virtual machine settings. Now hit on settings of virtual machine and then open information. Then hit on style and then hit operating system and then choose Android style and then go back and hit save to save the settings. Then simply hit play. Now hit on installation to run the Android setup. Now simply set the settings as I am doing it in the video to let the Android run properly in your iOS device. Once it's done 100%, now simply hit Run Android. Once you see Android logo, it means everything is installing well on your UTMSE app. Now sit back and wait, because this step will take some time depends on your iOS device. For this video I have used iPhone 12 Pro, and it took almost 2 hours just to install Android via UTMSE app. Once the setup is completed, now simply set your language and the rest details. To get the best experience, I recommend closing any other apps running in the background to free up resources. Also, consider adjusting your Android virtual machine settings if you notice any lag. And there you have it. That's how you can run Android on your iPhone or iPad using UTMSE. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials and updates. Leave any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.